Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Take Two Radio. I'm your host, Pam, and tonight, of course, I have the most wonderful person in the world as my co-host, Don. Hello, Don. <laughs> oh, what an intro! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna host with you all the time. <laughs> no, <laughs> thank you very much. I am good, and hello, everyone. Um, thank you for being with us tonight, and I hope you are well, Pam. And um, it's been Sunday all day. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, what's what's the uh, weather been like there today? Because it has been really um, cold and dreary here. It's been just sort of a crappy kind of day, to, for lack of a better way to put it. <laughs> You're silly. It's been um, it's been nice. It's just well, when the, the sun goes down, you know, it gets so cold. But um, it was sunny. I don't know what the exact temperature was, but I had the window open, and eventually I had to close it. Oh wow! So, yeah. Well, so we're chit chatting because we're waiting for Michael to call in. He did have a food drive today, and it's a possibility that he's running late. Um, so we're gonna have to wait and see when he calls in. I'm I'm sure it's not gonna be like our our last guest, and it won't be that late. <laughs> you won't have to yeah. listen to Don and I just babble. <laughs> I know, and this is not a trend we are trying to start here, folks. Right. It's just, um, <laughs> These um, these celebrities, especially the ones that are, are so well known, are in demand, and mm-hmm. uh, you know they have stuff going all the time. So uh, you know we're so fortunate to have them agree to come on the show, and and when they are, you know we're glad for them to get here. And we got a couple calls coming in, Pam. Do you recognize either number as being his, possibly? Um, I think so. I'm I'm guessing. <laughs> okay. Hello, this is Pam. This is Michael. Pam, it's Michael. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Michael. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> We're Thank live. Thank you. <laughs> who, who do I have on the phone, Pam? Who, who else um, is there? Is Don, my co-host. John. Don. Don, yeah, Don. I thought he said John. I'm like, who's John? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm doing great. How's it going, you guys? Oh, it's, oh, it's, going, it's doing good. good. Now, you, well, how are you? I mean, you're busy. You were just doing a food drive. What's going on with that? How did it go? Uh, fantastic. Um, filled the truck, set a record for us, and now they ordered a second truck to come over. It's It was just a tremendous success. The well, people that came out and donated and brought food, it's just it's amazing. So, so very thankful to everyone for being so supportive. Congratulations on that. It's great that's, when a community awesome. can come together. Absolutely. It just it's um you know, it warms your heart. I mean it's it's Thanksgiving and it's for a wonderful cause and when people, you know, take time out of their day and and you know, it's difficult. People are I know struggling out there and to to do something like that and give a little when you actually don't have that much to give. It's uh it's extraordinary and uh you know, it really, uh, it's touching. So I just, I'm so very thankful. Yeah, this is the time of year, too, especially with uh, with Thanksgiving coming around where people need to realize what they have and what others don't have. I mean, it should be done all year round, but um, yeah. it's times like these that it's it should be done more often, you know, and and realize that I have a roof over my head, you know, maybe I don't have tons of food, but I do have food and where others don't even have that. So it's nice. And thank you for doing that for people. Oh, hey, it's my pleasure. Leo, um, who who put it together, um, the uh, film freak uh, movie critic on uh, KFWB is extraordinary. He's such a great guy. And so I'm thrilled that he made me a part of it, you know. Is this the first time you did that? Yeah, he's been doing it though for years, and and um, you know I was on his show, and he just said, "Hey, do you um, would you like to co-chair and and be a part of it?" And I said, "Absolutely." So it's a, it was one of those organic things that just it was meant to be, and and um, so yeah, well I'll, I'll definitely help him as much as I can. I mean, it was really wonderful, a great experience. Fans showed up, people came out. Give away, you know, a Princess mm-hmm. for Christmas DVDs to those that came out, you know, Rock On CDs, Joseph CDs, oh. um, Marley and Me, the Puppy Ear DVDs. I just brought a whole bunch of stuff for um, 
you know, giveaways to people that were so generous. That's so cool. I'm sure they they would have done it without hat, but it was nice to give them something back. Oh, I love it. I like I like it. It's fun to surprise people when they're not expecting something, you know. Right. Most definitely. And you know, uh, Michael, I know that recently you were, um, you know, you were involved with the Hurricane Sandy fundraiser um, that happened earlier this month, and um, you know, you were just um, such a philanthropist, really. Um, and uh, and how did that how did that fundraiser go? Oh, really? It was huge success. We had a lot of people that viewed, and a lot of people clicked the donate button. We're not sure the exact amount because it went right to the Red Cross. And then a lot of people, we gave them options to donate to uh, different, through different organizations, you know, some being the Catholic Church, Red Cross. There were different, so, you know, different organizations that people had a choice to go through. So, um, but I know we had a lot. We had thousands of people that viewed it. And uh, uh, we had, you know, a lot of people were clicking the donate button. So I know that, you know, Anytime you can get that to happen, it's a success. Uh, as to how much, you know, um, every dime counts. So that's sort of how I look at it. Right. Yeah. Most definitely. Um, you're you um you've done a lot of stuff like this, and um, you're just such um, you know a visible person, and no one greater, I think, to um, lead a call such as these. Um, so many people love Michael Damien. Um, so you know, I think it's it's a great thing when um you know you and, and any celebrity gets involved in in causes like this because it really does bring awareness and um you know it helps to raise the bar on um what's needed um to help others oh well you're you're very kind for saying I'm just you know i i I really look at it the way that I'm really fortunate, mm-hmm. and anything that I can do to to help you know it's the least I can do. I mean, just, you know, I, I'm, I've been blessed with so many wonderful gifts, you know, just, you know, health and family and, you know, great career and just, and, and having incredible, you know, fans and friends and, and, you know, it just, it's really, it's, it's extraordinary. People, and I, I mean, anytime you can give back, you've got to do it. And, um, and everyone can do it. And it's just, it's, you know, you, you could just donate some time if you don't have the money. Right, and, yeah. Uh, you could do, donate time and money if you, if you know, right. have <laughs> to go. So, um, you know, uh, it's just, I'm, I, I really like doing something extra special, especially around the holidays because it, it is wonderful that we get together with family and it's so, it's a beautiful time. And um, But I think that it just adds that extra little, I think your connection to, the holiday even gets stronger, like whether it be Thanksgiving or Christmas, or you know what I mean. Right. You're gonna, you'll find a, a, a even a stronger sense of uh, joy when you do mm-hmm. just do something little like that to help others. Oh yeah. And and I don't think there's any any better way to really um, know what the season is all about, or or when you know you have a hurricane hit, when you can lend a uh, helping hand and just really um, reach out and help others because. It does make you realize how fortunate you are and just how grateful you are for things um, that sometimes I think we tend to take for granted, you know, because of the hustle bustle of life and the fast mm-hmm. pace, um, you know. Absolutely. And so it's, it's it, but like Pam said, you know, it's something that, you know, should not just be left for certain times of the year when, you know, tragedy sure. strikes, but definitely um, any time we can when there's a need. You know, there's always a need, it seems, so. Um, it's so important. And speaking of holidays, um, do you and your family, do you have any special um, holiday traditions that you do, say, you know, with Thanksgiving coming up next week? Oh, yeah. We're going to do um, we're gonna do a big Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, my wife, Janine, does a lot of cooking. She does a turkey. She does a big ham, like with a, like a kind of a molasses, uh, <laughs> molasses, uh, Kind of rub on it. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> it. uh, I think you know, I hear Michael drooling already. <laughs> I know. Really, really, really starting to get a little I'm hungry. Serious. You're gonna go crazy. It's it's phenomenal. I mean, I wish. I mean, I'll 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 post a picture during you know for up on on Twitter so you can see how good it looks. And just imagine it. Oh great. Uh, no. But but it, seriously, it's really we do the family uh, get together, and we do a dinner. 
and uh, that's always really wonderful. And then closer to Christmas, we do a Christmas family and friends party where just we try to get as many people over uh, during Christmas, right before right before Christmas. Um, you know, it's just it's wonderful to get everyone together. And listen, anytime I can, you know, I've got a big family, and anytime that I can get them all together, I will use any holiday or any occasion as an excuse to get everyone together, you know. It's, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm always thinking of things, you know, whether it be 4th of July or or the day after 4th of July parties, you know. Or the, <laughs> yeah, there you, you go. <laughs> you know, I Come mean, help me clean up after 4th of July party. <laughs> no, I don't make anyone clean. <laughs> you know, I actually, I don't mind doing dishes till 4 in the morning, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll tell you though, my dishwashing dishwater washing hands are really it's terrible. I gotta use palm olive, you know. Oh uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now I'm curious. I'm curious to <laughs> that you are a singer. Do you um do you ever, you know, sing during the holidays? Sing while, I'm, sing while I'm doing the dishes? Sorry. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I'm talking about like when you have your gathering, when you have your family all there together, do you ever um you know, do you ever perform for them or um, I don't know if that forms a proper word, but just, you know, singing and, and leading and singing, and is that ever a part of it? I guess that's what I'm uh, trying to ask. I would say pretty much every single family occasion, it's definitely a part of it. It's a it's a good yeah. question. Well, my mother um, is a concert pianist, so she... Oh, oh yeah. She, are you kidding me? She starts... First, she starts doing some great uh, classical pieces. Then we get into songs, and we're singing... Everything. I mean, I'm I'm up there singing. You know, I I, it, yeah. We the whole everybody sings. We do big, big, big sing-alongs, and uh, it's really fun. It's 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 a blast. Well, speaking of that, of music too. Uh, one of my questions to you is that I know you learned how to play the piano from your mom, and also uh, the organ, the clarinet, the trombone, vibes. I'm not sure what vibes are, though. <laughs> um, vibes are like a, a xylophone or marimba, but they're they're metallic keys, and they have like a, a vibrato switch on them. They're really they're really beautiful. Oh, okay. It's kind of okay. bell, kind of a bell. Like you know, you know what a marimbas are. I don't, but I mean, I can from what you're saying, you can kind of. I know what a xylophone is, so. Okay, kind of like a xylophone. Very similar so, to Zazafone. I mean, I, really, most really kids, beautiful. I think, have that as a child. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're a fun instrument. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you say is your favorite instrument? Well, I would say definitely piano um, is, is you know, is my favorite. Um, and that's sort of where everything, everything sort of began for me because mm-hmm. that's what my mom taught me first as a kid and taught all nine of us the piano. Mm-hmm. Nine. Yeah, I've I've, 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 (laughs) two brothers. Wow! (laughs) I didn't realize you had nine. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I'm one of nine. We're trying to rival the Osmonds. Oh my gosh! Yeah. (laughs) And nine, really? (laughs) Were you the eighth child by chance? (laughs) Yeah, I'm number eight. (laughs) Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! No wonder why. Oh, okay. I'm number eight, and my sister Joni's number nine. Oh wow. And yeah, you, I'm, I'm, you that's why Donnie Donny Osmond and I have such a parallel. Wow, no kidding. I can't believe <laughs> that. Is, that's wild. How about yeah, that? Yeah, we both played Joseph. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Oh, no, really? <laughs> Seriously, we start, Donnie and I, I, Donnie and I, I parallel things it's, over the years. It's been really interesting. Our, 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 first of all, I know him and from, from way back and when we mm-hmm. both did Joseph. and He's a great guy and... Uh, uh, it's just interesting, our, our, you know, it's because of the Osmonds and their telethon, the Children's Miracle Network telethon they put together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Way-